Hello, everybody. We've got updates on Operation Phoenix. There was the Phoenix Friday that just took place, and there's some juicy bits of information that were shared. So I'm very excited to talk about them in this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up, like button, and let's go ahead and dive straight into the news. I took notes here for you guys. First up, they mentioned that they plan to alter the UI for the DEX. They're in talks with the dev to get charts and analytics added to it. They're also in talks with multiple devs to get projects launched on the DEX. They're trying to get people excited for the Infinity Swap. They also have the token builder. It's making progress that has ties into the Infinity Swap. It looks to be in the final stages. Possibly it could be up this weekend or early next week, but there's no guarantee yet. The token builder price is lowered. So the prices for that might be... 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3 BNB. Previously, they were looking at 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0.6 BNB, but they want to get more projects coming on board. It's customizable, so if more projects list and demand increases, they could possibly increase prices later. The Infinity Launch. New product coming. That's a little different from the Infinity Pad, the Infinity Pad being basically their launch pad. As a content creator, Sean doesn't like getting paid for sponsorships by tokens because... He doesn't like the idea of selling on the market against the community. To help monetize projects that don't have funds to start, this is one of the objective goals with Infinity Launch. So, if tokens have a fair launch or a stealth launch, basically meme tokens, then you would be looking at the Infinity Launch. As opposed to the Infinity Pad, more so that one you're looking at utility tokens. So for the Infinity Launch requirements, you need to have a renounced contract, burn the LP, make it safe. If tokens are given to influencers, the team needs a detailed list to know exactly who is receiving and how much. One project looks lined up likely next week. The contract address might be released early to the Operation Phoenix rooms. Operation Phoenix will profit by having 1% of their taxes to Operation Phoenix from the Infinity, uh, Infinity launch. On Operation Phoenix launch, on Operation Phoenix, there was about, uh, for the, sorry, on the Oper Operation Phoenix launch on the Ethereum side, I should say, there was about a million dollars in volume in 24 hours. That's $10,000 regarding the 1% value. So of this 1%, 50% of that, so we're talking 0.5%, right? So 50% of the 1% will come to Operation Phoenix to mostly be used for buying and burning. Burning. 25% to NFT holders to jumpstart NFT revenue coming in. The DEX side will give 10% to NFT holders. And then also with the launch, they have 25% from the Infinity launch that'll go to the burn stakers. The first project will have a lot of YouTubers be a part of it. The goal is to try to get a million dollars in volume in the first 24 hours. You know, it's a goal. Fees are interchangeable. First project will have just 1% to Marketing Wallet and 1% to Operation Phoenix. If the tokens are successful going forward, they may raise it to 2%. Both PancakeSwap and Phoenix Swap charts did about 110x from launch. Remember, this is on the Binance side. Liquidity unlocks around August 1st. Both LPs unlock. We'll keep LP on PancakeSwap. They will move the LP on Phoenix Swap, and then we'll buy back and burn the PancakeSwap chart. This will combine the two LPs and help the price chart climb. By buying, it will help discovery on websites such as CoinMarketCap, where there could be new eyes coming to the project. Any revenue being generated will be stored in a revenue wallet. The wallet is being made public. Over the next two months, it will be getting added up to also help with the chart as they transition to the one LP. Potentially six figures worth of buys going into the PancakeSwap chart. We have to wait until that six-month lock unstakes, so we've got about two more months to go. The ultimate goal is to get to Infinity Swap, but it needs to be built up so it can show up on other sites. In the meantime, it can get built up via other token listings. There's a good chance in the future that Operation Phoenix will be moved over to just Infinity Swap at that point. To become a $1 billion token, Operation Phoenix needs the exposure to PancakeSwap right now. About $10 million in trading volume is needed to get listed on CoinMarketCap. 
Revenue share with Ethereum LP is possibly uh, is possible, but the team wants to wait about a month and see how things go first since the Ethereum side is so new. Okay, so there's the main notes from the Operation Phoenix Phoenix Fridays. Let's go and take a look at the price chart here. You can see that there was some significant selling that took place on the Binance side. This is PancakeSwap. There are some major whales. So when it opened up for the Ethereum side, people started dumping like crazy. This thing actually dropped just a little bit below a penny here. But then the community has since bought it back up. In fact, it closed out green for the day yesterday. And it's up 11.16%. And as far as trading volume goes in the last 24 hours, it's about $20,000 in trading volume. But guys, look at how much volume happened in those three days right there. So a lot of whales sold off. There is a community that bought back up, bring, bringing it back to about a penny and a half or so. And as I just mentioned with these notes from the Phoenix Friday, looks like there are some significant funds waiting around the corner that could be getting into the um, Operation Phoenix side over on PancakeSwap. Okay, so very bullish in that regard. I also want to point out to you guys when we take a look at the general crypto market, BNB is still hanging above $600. It drops down a little bit and comes back, drops down, comes back. Just under $700 is the all time high. In my personal opinion, not financial advice, BNB has a chance to make a significant run in the near future. If it breaks above that $700, the sky is the limit. It's literally called price discovery zone. And this thing could make some significant moves. I would like to know if you agree or disagree on that and why. So be sure to tell us down in the comments below. Okay. If you're trying to make as much as possible, you can check out Margex. I do have a referral link down in the description below for this. There's no KYC. So if you guys want to make an account, you want to look at it, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to create it. And it has leverage trading ranging from 5x all the way up to 100x. You can do regular crypto trading over here too. You can buy crypto. These are just some examples. They have copy trading. So if you're not confident in your trading skills, you can actually see how other people are performing. You offer up your collateral and then you set up autopilot. It's basically one click. They even have staking options. If you use my referral link, you can claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. And it's also greatly appreciated that you use my link. And this is available in a lot of different regions. If it's not available in your region, some people may decide to use a VPN. That's obviously up to you and your decision. And then if you want to learn about tokens before they drop, there is HG Access, an exclusive trading group getting close to 2,300 members. If you want to join that, you want to learn more, you can find the link down in the description below. This group does talk about tokens before they drop in YouTube videos, such as my channel and other YouTubers. Thank you so much to my personal Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Victor Vegas, Worlds of Rizvi for being higher level patrons and my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.